Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So the camera would not let me focus on what I want to show you. Um, so I have to do a voiceover. And so I'm going to make this video fairly short. I know I say this to y'all all the time, but I really am because um, what I'm doing now is I'm walking the garden. And so I encourage each and every one of you to try to make a habit of doing this on a daily basis. A lot of times I'm out here two or three times a day because if something goes wrong in the garden, I can kind of gauge the time frame of when it start happening. But today I want to talk to you about different friends and foes in the garden. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also make sure you download a free copy of our ebook, Five Tips to a Flourishing Garden. This will help you out so much and give you the basic things that you need to do to make sure you have a nice flourishing and healthy garden. And also make sure that you follow us over on Instagram because we put more day-to-day -day pictures of what's going on around our home and around our garden. Okay, so really quick before we get to what has laid eggs in our garden, and by the way, it's something beneficial. I'm ready for them to go ahead and hatch. I'm ready for them to learn their job, and I am ready for them to get to work on combating these aphids. I, we've seen mealybugs in the garden, and we have also seen uh, white flies. And I did a video on, on that, and I'll make sure I link it. But these bugs that are going to hatch are going to be beneficial to the garden. But it's important to know what you're looking at when you see different bugs. And the reason why I say that is because years ago, I confused like the baby or the child um, leaf footed bug. I confused those with the assassin bugs. I remember seeing these bugs and I was thinking, that's right. You get those insects, not knowing that it was not my friend. They eventually as an adult become the leaf footed bug. So that's why it's very important to identify and to know what you're dealing with. And here's a picture right here um, that I'm going to show you where I know this is like some type of worm. And the crazy thing is, is you never see them. Maybe I do need to go out there at night. I used to put my headlamp on and go out there at night. And maybe I need to get into doing that again too. Because when I look at the leaves and one thing you want to do when you see damage on your plants, go ahead um, and just kind of survey the area, look at the leaves, look under the leaves. And so I don't even have to look under the leaves right here. You see pretty much some type of worm poop. So we're going to have to go ahead and treat these um, holy basil plants. And what I do to treat them is I use um, BT on them. And they, they haven't affected all of them. And it also is strange how they can affect one area of the garden. And I also have holy basil planted in another part of the garden and those are not affected. So it also depends on where things are at in the garden. So another um, bug that we deal with is the cutworms. We were dealing with this in the front and um, we've been spraying with BT and we seem to have them up under control. So let me show you what has, uh, what is waiting to hatch that is a beneficial bug and that you would like them to visit your garden more often. Now these, they can hatch anytime they want to. So I'm about to get ready to show you a picture. Okay, so sometimes it is so amazing to watch nature. So this right here, my friends, these are lace wing eggs and lace wings are definitely beneficial to the garden. They help combat aphids, white flies, mealybugs, thrips. And I know for a fact that we I've seen mealybugs in the garden, definitely aphids, and you all know white flies. Um, so I'm not sure when they hatch, if they just have instinct on what to do or if they're trained or if they're given an assignment. But if I had a choice, I would like for them 
And their first assignment to be is to go ahead and get started on the white flies. Now we are getting them up under control, but if they can go ahead and finish up the job for me, I would definitely appreciate it. So let me give you some tips about the friends and foes in your garden. And hopefully um, this will be able to help you as you continue on your journey. Okay, so again, as I've said in the beginning, you definitely want to walk your garden um, daily if possible. And if you can get out there more, go ahead and do that because it's definitely going to um, give you like a time gauge if things start to go wrong, which we hope that they do not. Now, as I've mentioned, I probably need to do a little bit more nightly walkthroughs um, because it's something getting back in our fence again. So I probably need to go out there at night. And then another thing that's very important, if you do see bugs in your garden, it's important to identify them and know what they really are because assassin bugs those those were not so you have to identify know what they are and then know how to treat them because sometimes you can just go through the garden with a, a bowl of soapy water and just knock them in there and that's good enough um, for some different uh, type of insects but if you're going to use any type of sprays or anything you need to know what type to use um, and how to apply it um, in order to get them up under control and eliminate them. So you definitely want to know what type of bug you're working with. Is it a friend or a foe? And if it is not your friend, what are you going to do? How are you going to manage it? So that's very important um, in the garden as well. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. If you're not a subscriber, we will absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching and until the next video, bye-bye.